Hello everyone, Fish here with another video for you. How is everyone doing on this fantastic Tuesday? It is a beautiful 80 degrees here in Oklahoma, so I am enjoying this day absolutely. I just got off work. I am out and about to see what we've got uh, in store. Uh, we should have training day on 4K with a Best Buy exclusive steelbook along with a 4K uh, slipcover. Also out today is Rocky. Uh, there's a Rocky set that is one through four on 4K and also a Rocky standalone uh, steelbook. And let's see what else we got coming out today. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Oh man, I am actually sitting outside of Vintage Stop because you know Best Buy does not carry everything. So I'm going to see what we've got in here. I've actually got some stuff uh, on hold over the weekend. I grabbed some stuff earlier uh, in between uh, last Tuesday and this Tuesday. So I'm going to show that off at the end of the video. And then also we are going to uh, grab some more stuff that I had on hold. And then we're going to grab some steel books. Hopefully they are in stock actually. I pre-ordered mine um, for pickup because I did not want to miss out because uh, I looked on Best Buy and it said they only had a few in stock. So I went ahead and got those pre-ordered and set aside for me. But we're going to run inside vintage stock and let's see what they've got for us. Alrighty, we are inside vintage stock and I forgot, yeah, Puss in Boots came out today. So we've got Puss in Boots. There's a DVD and a Blu-ray. There should be a 4K, but they don't have it here. Uh, let's see. What is this? Millionaire's Express by Arrow. $25.99. Hmm, that looks interesting. That character almost looks like Peter Sellers there. The Pink Panther. So, all right. Uh, Kubo and the Two Strings also came out today. There's a 4K and a 4K steelbook. Uh, India Song. Baxter, Vera Baxter, uh, Marathon Man also came out today with Dustin Hoffman. It's $25.99 here. So this is a Kino Lorber title. Uh, so we've got, let's see, this is, I can't even read that, uh, something beyond, uh, Anyways, uh, Box Trolls as well came out today, and there's also a steelbook for it. Uh, 21 and 25, and Devotion came out today as well. 21 for a DVD, 25, and 29 for the 4K. Also, man, how did I forget this? Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K came out. There is the 4K regular slipcover. It's pretty cool. It's got the eye. You can see Leatherface in there. I don't know if you can see if that's the glare. But yeah, there's Leatherface in there. It's $32.99 for this. And then there is a Steelbook as well. And this is $39.99. So, yeah. So that's really cool. Uh, first time on 4K in the States. It has had a 4K overseas for quite a while. Uh, let's see. Frostbiter. Wrath of the Wind, uh, Windigo. Okay, yeah, sorry, glare. It's really bright out today, so got a lot of glare on this. So. All right, a couple other anime here. I want to dance with somebody, the Whitney Houston story. Uh, I forgot this came out, so $25.99. I did not get a chance to see this. Uh, Whitney Houston is one of my favorite artists ever. I love her, her voice is fantastic. Um, so yeah, that came out today. We got here Hollywood Shuffle. This looks a Criterion release. Uh, so yeah, $25.99 for this Criterion Blu-ray. Here is the training day. This is the regular 4K with the slip cover. Um, it's crazy. This, this 4K comes with a Blu-ray disc. It's a blue, it's a, or a Blu-ray case. It's a blue case and not a black case like every other 4K came with or comes with. That's crazy. Uh, there's a Hong Kong Volume 1. I don't know if you can see that glare. All right. So, Hong Kong Volume 1, $25.99. All right. Oh, made in Hong Kong yeah, Volume 1. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. That's some stuff from last week. Inspection. Days of Confuse. Old way, Empire Blight. So, yeah, still have some great ones there. Here is uh, the newest Paramount Presents that came out last week. Just Another Girl in the IRL. And then Romeo and Juliet. 
So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take a look around and see what else I can find in this beautiful store here. So much to choose from there. Alrighty, well, I just got out of a uh, vintage stock where I grabbed some goodies in there, and one of these actually rounds out a collection of steelbooks for me until the new one comes out, uh, I believe, this summer. So I'm excited. I'm going to head to Best Buy now and grab my steelbooks there and then head to the house. So let's head off to Best Buy. All right, coming around this side, they do have also. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre slip cover. You can see it a little better in here as opposed to vintage stock. You can see leather face and the eyeball there. That's really cool looking. Really like that. And then also the steel book. It's on sale for $31.99 here. They do have the Rocky IV collection here that was in the uh, the case over at vintage stock, so I couldn't actually get a good look at it. But here we go. You got the Rocky set here. So, one, two, three, and four. Uh, four was always my favorite growing up, but um, I have grown an appreciation for the first three as well. And here we go. This Rocky Steelbook looks fantastic. I like it. I like it. I like the simplicity of it. Nothing crazy over the top. Just very simple. Red on black and white. It's really, really cool. All right. So, I've got one of those set aside for me. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, Halloween ends. So got some Godfather, planes, trains, and automobiles. Terrifier two. They live. Let's see. Smile. All, all the same old goodies here. So let's uh, head back to the back and see what else they've got for us. Alrighty, coming around this side, the new releases here. Still have copies of Jack Ryan from last week. Here is the Training Day Steelbook. I like that steel book. That's really, really nice. Oh, can't wait to uh, open that and check that out. So, Training Day. I haven't watched this since DVD days. <laughs> I didn't, don't even own it on Blu-ray. So, this is a massive upgrade for me. And it is actually $34.99. Or $32.99. Sorry, excuse me. And they do have the Training Day regular 4K with the slip cover. Like I said, the Blu-ray case in there. That's crazy. Crazy. As you'll see here in Devotion, it's a black case. But they've also got uh, Devotion for $24.99 and the Blu-ray for $19.99. Uh, some recent releases here. Freaky, Dentist, Dawn of the Dead, Strange World, Days Confused, all the way. Uh, this is also new out today. This, oh, man. See, I said that I was going to collect all the Lionsgate. See, look, this is a badass. Oh, my gosh. This book here. This box is amazing. It looks like um, possibly, uh, I don't know, Bible, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But that is amazing. That has John Wick 1, 2, and 3 in here. And these are all steel books. Uh, these steel books look pretty cool. There is a John Wick 4 coming out. So I can't justify spending this kind of money on this right now. $79.99. If it went on sale for maybe. Forty dollars. I'd probably grab, grab that, but I doubt it will. But yes, that is also something that is brand new today. John Wick chapters one, two, three uh, on Steelbook in this really, really nice box. You know, it, it almost got me with this box, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold off. I'm holding off. I'm gonna be strong. All right, and they are out of it. Looks like Puss in Boots 4K. But they do have the Puss in Boots on Blu-ray here for $26.99. And they also have Box Trolls. Oh, that poor J card. If you don't care about J cards, there I got you right there. But uh, Box Trolls, $26.99. Uh, they have Kubo and the Two Strings Steelbook for $29.99 there. And Jujutsu Kaisen. I didn't remember seeing that last week, but that's $34.99. And all right, Bubba Hotep, The Retaliators. I need, ah, uh, I think I might grab this. It's $12.99. Yeah, I think I might grab that. They released, actually, <laughs> the other Best Buy that I went to last week had all these out. This, I guess they weren't supposed to be released until today. So they have all these uh, Disney's with the silver slips. 
I really like that uniformity in this. It looks great. I do want to grab that Mickey and Minnie, the 10 classic shorts, because it does have um, Steamboat Willie on it. And that is the very first uh, Mickey Mouse cartoon. So. I've actually heard good things about this Punisher. Uh, it is a Lionsgate Steelbook, so I, I do need to grab it because, like I said, I want to try and collect all these. Um, I've heard good things about this, so um, I think I might check this out. It's on sale for $17.99. Last week it was $14.99, and I should have grabbed it then. $3 is $3, you know what I mean? All right, guys. Well, I grabbed my steelbooks at Best Buy today, and I actually have started, I don't know if anybody else is doing this, but I've actually started inspecting them before I actually leave Best Buy because I've been burned, I've gotten home, and they've actually been split. <laughs> There's been a couple that have actually been split in the spine, and I've actually had to return them, so instead of making an extra trip, I have actually asked them before I leave store, I'm like, hey, can I open these and inspect them, make sure they look good? They're like, sure, that's fine. Most of the time, I've actually not ran into any problems, you know, asking to check and see if I can inspect them because um, one of the girls were like, yeah, they're yours, you bought them. So I've actually paid for them. So I'm gonna open them up and make sure that they're good. And if not, then I'm already in store to exchange it with another one but they look fantastic. I'm gonna get home and show you guys what else I grabbed today. So let's head to the house. Alrighty guys, well I am home and excited to show what I grabbed today, plus uh, what I grabbed the uh, rest of the week. First off, I'm gonna show uh, off the Rocky 4K Steelbook here. Uh, this Steelbook looks great, uh, black and white with uh, red uh, lettering. Um, that is awesome. Super excited to check this out on 4K. So I love the uh, love story between Rocky and Adrian. Um, so, and uh, Burt Young as Polly is a piece of work in that movie. Um, but uh, next I have Training Day starring Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. I haven't watched this in years. I'm super excited to check this out, especially on 4K. I haven't watched this since uh, the DVD days. Hey, heck, I may, I may have even watched it on uh, VHS. Uh, so uh, that would this will definitely be an upgrade uh, visually for me. So excited, excited, excited. Uh, all right. Uh, these next two are older titles. Uh, this one's just a week old, but I grabbed Retaliators. I was excited uh, about this one because uh, the slipcover actually got me, but then I read the uh, first sentence of this paragraph here. And I didn't want to read any more. It kind of hooked me, but I didn't pull the trigger last week. But I'm glad I did this week. So I really want to check this out. Uh, next, I saw this on Blu-ray.com for $16.99. And I saw it at Target. And I kind of figured it would still be there. And I know the price match with Amazon. So I went in and she scanned it. And she actually said that Bros was on sale for $14.99 in-store at Target. So I came out better on um, in-store than actually on Blu-ray.com. So, Rose, uh, I've not seen that, so I want to check that out. This next one is the one that will round out this Steelbook uh, set for me until the new one comes out this summer, and it is Bumblebee. I did not have this uh, in any form, and I, still, I have not seen this movie yet either, so I heard it was a good one. Um, I know the last few... Transformers movies were not the greatest, so uh, and this kind of, I guess, reinvigorated people's uh, love of Transformers because uh, Bumblebee is a beloved character. Uh, next, I grabbed a childhood favorite. I love this movie. This stars a uh, true-life married couple, uh, Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy, and Battery's Not Included. I love this movie. So much fun. So good. So cute. So adorable. Uh, next, I'm trying to collect all the Best Picture winners. So I grabbed this, and I really love this slipcover that came with it. Uh, Gone with the Wind. Uh, this is really, really cool. It's uh, like gold with uh, the Oscar up there. So, yeah. I haven't seen this in years. I haven't seen this since high school. So super excited to check that out. This, I, I think I've seen this. I really don't remember. I, it might have been on in the background at a friend's house, and I really wasn't paying attention. Um, but I picked up Horrible Bosses. I want to check this out um, fully. Uh, and actually pay attention to it. I love Jennifer Aniston. She's fantastic. Colin Farrell. 
Uh, Jason Bateman is one of my favorites. I've loved him since uh, Hogan's Family back in the day. So, yeah. Horrible losses. Uh, next, as a political satire I have not watched in years, uh, starring Robert De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Wag the Dog. It also has Anne Heche, Rest in Peace. Uh, and uh, I believe Kirsten does. Uh, a very young Kirsten does makes an appearance in that movie. Uh, this actually came up during a live stream, and I did not own it. A uh, roommate had it, and that's how I saw it for the first time. And when she moved out, it went with her. So I've been without ever since. But I picked up Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I adore this movie. Kat Dennings and Michael Sarah. They are adorable. Very, very cute. Uh, so, and I love the music in this, so, go. Yep. Great movie. Uh, these last two were actually, uh, suggested by, uh, Bob over at Bob's Blu-rays. Uh, this first one, uh, is one of his favorite movies, and it is For the Love of the Game, uh, starring Kevin Costner and Kelly Preston. I've not ever seen this, so I'm super excited to check this out. I love both these actors. I love baseball movies, so, um, but I, from what I hear, baseball like boxing and Rocky takes a second uh, back seat to uh, the love story. So that's, that'll be really cool to check out So for the love of the game. And lastly, I grabbed this one. I don't know if this is going to give me anxiety because I have a wee bit of claustrophobia. Um, so it is Ryan Reynolds and Buried. Um, talk about, uh, I love movies that are set in one, in one setting. Talk about one setting. Uh, so Buried. Starring Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Bob swears it's amazing. So good. So I'm willing to check it out. Alrighty, guys. That is everything that I grabbed this past week. So thank you very much for joining me on my little journey today. Uh, don't forget to comment down below if you have any thoughts on anything that I grabbed. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you very much for joining me once again. You guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you soon. Bye.